Welcome to St Andrews Presbyterian Morwell. I'm John Higgins and it's my privilege to play the historic and heritage listed 1873 pipe organ here. As I said, one of the staple diets of the organist is in playing to lead the congregation for the singing and the worship of God. There's quite a bit to it, even though it may seem simple. And let me just present a few of my thoughts on what I've learned from other people and my own experience over the years. With regards to him playing, a steady and predictable tempo is very important. And that certainly helps the congregation have confidence in the singing. Selecting an appropriate tempo and pace is important. So different churches tend to have different traditions or styles as to how fast they like to sing the hymns. So it's important as an organist to be considerate of that. While we want to keep the tempo moving so that it doesn't become dour uh, or slow, at the same time racing too far ahead presents a real risk of losing your congregation. So I think it is a bit of give and take required. My personal view is that the organist should assist in leading the singing, and leading means taking the lead with uh, tempo and setting that well, particularly in the introduction. Some people have the view that the organist should accompany the singing, which suggests a little bit more fitting in and adapting to what people are doing. Again, be conscious of the style that your congregation has. With regards to introduction, again, there's great variety as to how organists choose to do that. So if I take a couple of examples of the hymns that we're using this morning, with uh, Wide Valley Like a River Glorious, sometimes I might choose to start the introduction from the refrain, which would be something like this. exactly what's going to happen and they sing that first note with gusto. However, with other hymns, we may choose different alternatives. So, for example, another one of the hymns this morning was Amazing Grace to the tune of New Britain, which I'm sure you'll know very well. So, what I like to do with this one is a combination of the beginning of the hymn and the end. So some organists might just play the first line and then stop. Some organists would play the last line and stop. I like to include a little bit of both at times so that the tune is instantly recognisable to the people, but also ending on the tonic note at the end, which gives people a sense of certainty and completion rather than perhaps ending on the dominant or subdominant which may leave them hanging and unsure of when you're actually starting. I have seen once or twice some organists who play the whole verse of the hymn, which can mean a long wait for people in the pews. So for New Britain and Amazing Grace, I like to do something like this. I'll pick the opening solo voice and then add the last couple of phrases in with the left hand pedals. Mm -hmm. 